A blessed day, JEC family! Have you heard someone who excitedly shares his or her story before he or she received what has been promised? Please let me read to you our passage today that tells about that. Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 56. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for He has been mindful of the humble state of His servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with His arm he has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Mary stayed with Elizabeth, for about three months and then returned home. Mary's song is known by many as the Magnificat, which is a Latin word meaning to magnify. This beautiful song arose spontaneously from Mary after the words said by Elizabeth. Blessed is she what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. When we try to imagine Mary and Elizabeth in this moment, we can see an almost natural energy circulating around these two remarkable women, both pregnant with a promise that would not only change their own lives, but all of human history. Yet, it's important to remember that Mary's song was offered well before she had received what was promised. She did not wait to give thanks. She did not wait to tell of God's goodness. She did not wait to share her joy. It can feel vulnerable and risky to share our own stories before we have received what has been promised, right? Usually, we are tempted to wait for the answer to give thanks until we can be sure that what we have heard whispered in our hearts was true after all. I have experienced how doubt can at times be a healthy friend on the journey of seeking God. But when we allow doubt to close our hands in fear rather than open them in worship and in awe, we are missing on the joy of truly trusting in God. Mary's trust in God's promise is a gift to us. I hope that when we read Mary's song, it may infuse courage and faith in our personal faith journey. That is the power of joyful, genuine worship. It echoes longer and reaches farther than we may ever know. So, as we take this time to reflect this moment, I'd like us to ponder about this question. Have you ever worshiped God in the midst of unfinished stories and unfulfilled promises? Was the joy worth the risk of trusting? Let me pray for us all. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you today with our hearts humbled by your awesome power. We confess that we have not always believed what you have promised, O God. We have not always chosen to take you at your word and have missed out on the true joy and hope that comes from trusting you, O God. May our hearts gain courage in the middle of our stories, worshiping you boldly so that our joy in Christ might be multiplied. In Christ we pray, Amen. Remember, you do not need to wait for the answer to thank and worship God. 
you can start praising Him in the middle of your story today. God bless you all and have a great day.